What up, those music scene? We got all action, all the smoke. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to be notified when we drop another banger. We back on this J Prince NBA Youngboy thing. Now, check it out. So, is something going on with the NBA camp, or either they op baiting? So, I mean, if y'all don't know what op baiting is, it's just, you know, you make something it appear to be a certain way to try to pull the ops in. Either you act like it's some type of uh, eternal issue with the, with the crew, or uh, maybe like you uh, pretend to be lacking somehow. Pretty much some way to kind of like debate the ops in. But anyway, so either they op baiting or there's something going on because ever since the J Prince situation, what he had to say uh, and what young boy had to say, and then the OG3 being involved in all that and talking to J Prince. And the song that NBA Youngboy put out, he said he was retired and he dropped the song like it was on his like mind and his heart. He had to put it out. And he was talking about the people you you normally see around with me and on my side. And so on like everybody IG, you don't see like a uh, young boy on there. And um, you know, they used to like post everything, whether they posting his music or his album cover or something the bottom of pictures. Like I'm not I'm not seeing that like from nobody. And um they're just doing their own thing and posting it, whatever. But anyway, so OTC Live, he uh did a little video on Herm the Black Sheep. So, you know, that's when a uh, NBA young boy, like right hand man, you know, OTC Live said he won his top shooters. But uh, anyway, I think he won of them. I don't know uh, for sure, you know, or, or what's the facts or what rank he is, but he up there. Anyway. Long story short, I guess he uh, was on his IG, Herm the Black Sheet, and he said, old dudes always, uh, you know, on a young dude, nut. Something, something to the extent of that, like, you know, like, he's like, you, know, you should have sent your son or send your son or something like that. And when I think about it, that that's kind of, that's kind of a good point. Because, like, Jay Prince, he a made man, like, he had no business even, like, talking to young boy or even addressing him in the beginning like they not even on the same level like it should have been like like he said like his son should address him about the situation in the beginning but like i think like jay prince like i won't say he clout chasing but i would say he using as a uh almost a marketing tool like you know people know that how you know how long his reach is and that he made and he gets stuff done and and he run a lot of stuff in the uh, Texas or whatever, Houston. And so, if somebody was to get some stuff back, you know, it would probably go through him. And so, that's known. I don't think he really needed to, like, make it public to do that, but I think that's just what it is. Just, like, just, you know, uh, widening his brand, like, like keeping, keeping in the lens, like, who he is. But I don't think, you know, he was necessarily, like, clout chasing. Now, some people speculate that, you know, it was, like, some foul play, some dirty stuff. Like, he sent the boys in there to to get a um, young boy garage and all that and so I don't know about all that you know like people say he's an honorable man so I don't know if he would do that you know they're saying he's trying to extort him but if J, if Jay Prince saying he had a relationship with OG3 for years and that you know they've been solid you know I don't know why he would do that and if you listen to what Jay Prince said about young boy need to stop uh he need to be mad about the lie he living in um that his security was weak and he's saying they fell asleep but bet you I didn't tell, tell you that and uh he said i hope that didn't go over your head and so maybe jay prince was just trying to expose him to uh how vulnerable he really is out here and he thinks he protected you know six nine he had that security and it was a one like nobody could touch him young boy now i don't think his security is like really like that but anyway what y'all think about what uh, her and the black sheep said, like he should have sent the son. You think Jay Prince Jr. should have been the one addressing it and like, you know, the situation? Or y'all think like they just shouldn't have, you know, sitting down period, they should have just stayed out of it. Like, like what y'all think Jay Prince reasoning is for uh, even intervening? And so just get in the comments and let me, you know, really know what y'all think. Because uh, I think it probably would have went better if Jay Prince Jr. would have you know would have did it or whatever like I, I think he probably would have went behind the scene and did it like this not the first time that 
Jay Prince, uh, you know, caught scrutiny for, you know, come to the internet about something. So, you know, get in the comments, let me know what y'all think. I'm out.